I'm sure at some point over the last year or so, you have seen this crazy rumor. GTA 6 is going to cost $150. It's not, okay? The base game is not going to cost $150, but it might cost a little bit more than the $70 a lot of us are paying for games nowadays. There is a very real possibility that GTA 6, the base game, will cost over $70, whether that's 80, 90, or even 100. So in today's GTA 6 video, I wanna go over why I am saying this, why this could be the case, and also how Rockstar might cause the entire gaming industry to follow suit. So there was this game that came out last year called Baldur's Gate 3. It's obviously nothing related to GTA, but if you're in the gaming world, you probably have heard of it. You probably have seen it. It's won like a bunch of uh, awards and stuff. Apparently it's a really, really good game. Well, the director of publishing for this studio, Larian Studios up here, who made Baldur's Gate 3, he actually came out last week and said some very interesting things regarding GTA 6's pricing. And I would assume the director of publishing for Baldur's Gate 3, one of the biggest games that released in the last couple of years, probably knows something about how much games should cost. So this was all in response to, I guess it's from this Star Wars Outlaws game that came out recently. There was like a ultimate edition you could buy for $130 and it included a bunch of stuff, including the base game, of course. Uh, and he didn't like that. He says, I don't love the artificiality of pricing structures post retail. Use the inflated base price to upsell a subscription and use vague content promises to inflate ultimate editions to make the base price look better. It all seems a bit dangerous and disconnected from the community. He went on to state that I think a game should be priced according with its quality, breadth, and depth. He says he's not against higher prices, but this arbitrary uniformity just doesn't make sense to me. It feels so unserious. And then where he connected it with GTA 6, almost all games should cost more at base level because the cost of making them, inflation for one, is outpacing pricing trends. But I don't think we'll get there with DLC promises so much as quality and communication. Everyone is just waiting for GTA 6 to do it, LOL. So this is, again, the the director of publishing for Baldur's Gate 3 coming out and basically saying that GTA 6 and Take 2 are more than likely going to increase the base level of the game. Now, before I discuss any further on what the price would be and all that, I do just wanna bring back something that the Take 2 CEO, so someone who's actually involved with Rockstar and, and how much the price will be actually at the end of the day. This is what he said in the earnings call not too long ago. Uh, this is Strauss Zelnick, of course. Look, there's more content constantly being made available and we really aim to deliver great value at any given time. We're so focused on delivering more value than what we charge. And that's sort of the rubric. Anytime we establish a price, we want to make sure that it's good news for the consumer, uh, that the experience vastly over delivers in the context of the cost. That's the goal. Now, when it comes to GTA 6, uh, I think the game could cost any amount and it would over deliver in the context of the cost, right? You could charge 200 bucks and you're probably getting way more than $200 worth out of GTA 6, especially if you're someone who plays the online and you play it for, you know, 10 years. So this is a nice quote from Strauss Zelnick, but it's not exactly anything definitive. Someone's gonna bring this up and say, hey, look, he's saying the game's still gonna cost $70 and all that. Like GTA is just a such a big game that they could price it at whatever and it would be justified. Going back to the tweet though, uh, from the Baldur's Gate developer or publisher, I just find it super, super interesting how and look, this is probably just his speculation, but he's saying everyone in the community, in the gaming world, is waiting for GTA 6 to change what is basically the normal price for games. A little history here, the $6 price point was actually first uh, set with the Xbox 360 and PS3 generation. Then 14 years later, with the PS5 and Xbox Series X, that's of course when all the games got bumped up to $70. So, you know, going from $60 to $70, it wasn't a, a huge price increase, especially over 14 years. But 
apparently, according you know to this Baldur's Gate director publishing, that ten dollar base increase isn't enough because of inflation and you know a bunch of other stuff that goes into the cost of actually making these games. And so all of that is why I say it's not crazy to think that GTA 6 will launch with a base price of over $70. How much over it? Like that's where the speculation comes in. Is it gonna be $80 or are they gonna only increase it by 10? Is it gonna be 90? Is it gonna be 100? I mean, they could get away with it. I don't know, there will be some blowback because of course going that much higher compared to what everyone's used to is, you know, that's just a big jump, but they definitely could get away with it. They definitely would be justified with it, but it, it is for sure something that we'll need to look out for. And again, if he's saying everyone in the gaming world is just waiting for GTA 6 to do it, then I'm assuming that probably means most people are probably going to do whatever GTA does as well. So if GTA bumps their price up to $80, let's say just for instance, you're gonna be seeing all these other games bump their price up to 80 as well, which will just suck for the gaming community because then that means every game is gonna cost even more. Even though every freaking game nowadays comes with battle passes, all the microtransactions, all this other stuff that are making these companies billions upon billions of dollars, they're still wanting to charge more. One thing that they could do, and, and this may be the best solution because they could sort of have their cake and eat it too, and this is what some other games are doing nowadays is they keep the base price at $70, but then they charge, you know, an extra $20, $30 to play the game a few days early. And even though it's kind of a scummy tactic, it has worked. So many games nowadays are coming out with this and people are paying the money to play a game. They're paying 30 extra dollars to play a game four days early, you know, five days early. So maybe that's how they get around it where... They know everybody is gonna to wanna to play GTA 6 early so they could charge a hundred bucks to play it, you know, a couple days early where the base price is still 70 bucks. Maybe that's how they, they get around it and say, hey, if you don't wanna play the game early, you just play the normal price. But uh, but yeah, this, is, this was an interesting tweet from, again, one of the bigger games in recent years. The director of publishing for that came out and said, Games should cost more. So that is something. Do you want GTA 6? Or maybe not do you want, because I don't think anyone wants the game to cost more. Do you expect GTA 6 to cost more? That is the question that we'll end on. Thank you guys for watching. Please drop the video a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe for more GTA 6 content. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one.